The first thing I have to tell you is this. This CD was made from the original music. It is not a counterfeit. This is the real one. This one is true. This one is real. Los Angeles was cracking, man. Pittsburgh still in. Blunts in the club like a bud dealer. Karen Wheeler sold a soul, paid him full soundtrack. Should have had a song from the battle rap. Contract killers bring the sound and Jay Dillard. Battle mad lip tracks. Rattlesnake battle lights impact. Pack a backwoods, show the best lady told me. Stop smoking it. Somebody say roll that shit. Like that shit. Smoke it. Roll that shit. Like that shit. I'm hard work. I'm here with the good fellas of Strong Arm Steady. Yeah. Got Feel the Agony. Planet Asia and Cron Don right next to me right here. Just had the in store at Fat Beats LA for the release of In Search of Stoney Jackson, produced entirely by Mad Lib, Stone Store Records. I just want to say, you know, I'm following you guys since like 2004, so. I just want to know, like, I keep going to these live shows and everything. How you guys keep the energy in the unit so tight? Second nature. We come from an era where we were just talking about that the other day about the being on the radio. Where if you went went to the radio, you had to be prepared to perform almost. You know what I'm saying? And and it, like at in stores or wherever, you have to be prepared to 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 entertain and and display your skill. You know what I'm saying? That nigga shit like a black in the black. Pull out the mat from the back of the black. That's my nigga. I cry for. How, how did all that come together with Mad Lib? Uh, Mad Lib been the homie for years, so it was just a matter of time that we got together and did a project with him. We did this on the jazz album, man. We recorded it in like two or three weeks. Had all the homies come through. We didn't yeah, even really... Mad Lib did the whole thing. A J-Rock, you know what I'm saying? J-Rock bought through like 300 beats, so we chopped it up. Here it is for y'all. It was really cats that was coming through in the process of us recording it that really had the turnout of how the album was. You know, me crying, age, Nitsy Slip, Tri State, who was always in the studio working on shit. So, even DJ Khalil, man, he was right there all along the way, like, go. That shit sound crazy. So, everybody was involved in the process of making this album. It wasn't just like Mad Lib or it wasn't just us, it was, it was everybody, J Rock included. So. Actually, we, the focus wasn't even on this album before we started this. Yeah. They was doing something totally different mm -hmm. before this album. Yeah. I was going somewhere else with it, and this is just natural. This is a natural album. These type of women I see is off in the trade of Joe, all natural juice, drinking breezies, be at the flea market, Berkeley Bowl, free range chicken and rosemary, avocado, California roll, fresh salami, yoga girl, part agape, green salad, pita supporter, vegan, I'm rotten, high on the calcium, cashew, calaloo, curry, raw veggie, 100% alkaline, back rubs while I smoke my beverage, you with your chicken, making these order and frost with flurries, hey. and one thing's for sure, you got that, that's why I got you pregnant. It's you guys said it took what three weeks to record? Yeah. Is that is that actual long. facts? Just <laughs> <laughs> a little this. So y'all don't get it confused. Try yeah. to try to try to don't, 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 Yeah, don't record your album in three weeks, man. Take a little longer than that. No, there. that's how they did the NWA album. Two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so we did ours in three weeks. Hey, hey, the bad is I don't even go over the speed of house unless I'm hungry. Exactly. Hey. Somebody say hell yeah. Hell yeah. Say fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Say mad Mad Say strong on city. Strong on city. Sony Jackson is. What he is as a cultural icon in the 80s, you know what I'm saying? Like I say a cultural icon, you know what I mean? Because you gotta think about his flavor. It was, it was, it, you gotta think about Jesse Johnson. You gotta think about Egyptian Lover. You gotta think about. Prince, mm -hmm. 
Supreme, Supreme Team. Supreme Team. Uh, All these full niggas. Full force. Full force. Thank you, Age. What? Yeah. What? Real All of these tomorrow. people that I'm telling y'all, you can YouTube them. Yeah, and you understand what the 80s was about. The fly nigga shit, the player shit. Yes, the shit. All that Boogaloo shrimp, bow legged Lou, and Stoney Jackson, for real. He was like the Billy D of all that. You know what I'm saying? Of all that, I'm saying he was like the Billy. Yeah. He was like the Billy D of all of that shit. Word up. And 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 he. If Billy D was a smooth player. What? Of the '60s and se- in the '70s? Slips, cold slips. Man. Billy D. Fuck Denzel Washington. All that, oh, yeah. but not like that. But Billy D. Was all that. But all these cats, they involved themselves in that that look. I'm talking about the curl. Chest open, boom, Man. scarf, gold chains, mm. and they were some fly niggas, you know what I'm saying? In the 80s, you know? Ashford, Simpson. So, mm-hmm. you know. it was cool to be, quote unquote, my point is that it was cool to be, quote unquote, different. Even in our culture, in the black community. Like, dope is different. Different is dope, you know what I'm saying? So, we in search of that, man. And and, 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 and the album is on Stone's Throw. We was getting stoned, like my brother say, the whole album. Otis Jackson is... Mad Lib, he produced the album. Hence, search, <laughs> yeah, yeah, in search of Stony Jackson. So that's that's the. It's more of a. It's a real concept, and there's layers to that concept. Strong arm steady, L A Stereo TV. Name is hard work, making a guest appearance for y'all. On the interview tip, you're getting sway on. Trying to. Hard work getting sway up. I'm trying. See, I ain't got no head wrap yet, but <laughs> but I'm gonna get there. Hey yo, this is Planet Asia Medallions. This is Phil the Agony. You're live on LA Stereo TV. Boop out.